Hey everybody, welcome back to Pikmin. Last time, we explored more of the Force Naval, got a bunch of ship parts, raised our numbers up, uh, dealt with bomb rock stuff, and today, uh, we're basically gonna head back to the Force Naval and finish it up, hopefully. Uh, there's only three ship parts left to get, and I know where all of them are, and most of them aren't too difficult to get. Only one of them might cause some issues, so let's just jump right in. So the plan is we're only going to take a minimal amount of yellows. We don't really need many at all. We're going to take 40 blues specifically and the rest in reds. So 50 reds. That's math for you kids. So yeah, we don't, we don't need many yellows. Uh, rather, I don't want many yellows because of... For what we'll be using them for, it's not a smart idea to have a whole squadron. It's good to have a limited number. And the uh, reds will, will need a lot of, so. Uh, how many fl non-flowers do we have? A couple, might as well get some nectar if we can. Uh, some grass right here, so we might as well try. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I do want all my yellows to be flowers at least because we have a small army of them for a specific reason and we'll deal with that later. I don't want to deal with it right now uh, because I can do some other things before we do. So, the blowhogs are not back, thank god. I wouldn't want to have had to deal with that. Uh, they should be back tomorrow, but we won't be here tomorrow, so that's not a big deal. And there are, I think there are shoe grubs we dealt with. There's still a wallywog over there. We'll, we'll handle that. Anyway, separate our Pikmin. Grab all of our blues. Because there is a ship part over here. There were wallywogs here the previous day, but we dealt with them and lost like six Pikmin because they just inexplicably die. This is the anti-dioxin filter, so no more pollution. Fantastic. Let's just carry that back. It takes 40 blue Pikmin, which is a massive amount. And they will just kind of go deal with that. So yellows, I need to protect. So I'm just going to sort of leave them there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave them where I need them to be. And then just come back there later when I've dealt with everything else I want to today. Um, or at least set everything up. So, she had him here a little bit. Grab my reds and then head back out and take some damage, apparently. We have to do it this while I walk first, so let's go ahead and do that. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Unless, you know, I pick them and just die. Come over here off that ledge because you're worrying me with that ledge. And you jumped. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, when a Wallywog jumps as well, your Pikmin also lose their flowers. See, we lost one! I'm gonna mention that every time, because I don't know how that happens. So, this enemy. Um, I don't remember its name, but the main point of it is, it's gonna trip once you swarm enough Pikmin at its feet, and then once it trips, you wanna throw a bunch of Pikmin at its bum. And hopefully kill it. Alright. So, usually the enemy... Wait! Where are my blue Pikmin at? They're there. How did I lose 30 reds? What killed 30 reds? Not 30, but what? What killed all of them? What the hell? Well, now I need... Uh... Well, that sucks! What the hell killed them? God! Pikmin, I love this game, but it can be really glitchy sometimes. Apparently. Are the blues okay? Are they going back like they didn't die? The blues are fine. So something just killed like... 20... not 23, like 13 of my reds, I think. What the hell? <sighs> Whatever. We'll keep you guys here, because we don't really... <sighs> Hold on, let me just get my reds out. No, I killed 23. I killed 23 of my goddamn reds. What the fuck? Uh, I guess, it, like, they clipped to the ground again or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. Whatever. 
I have I can get more reds. It's not a big deal. Just annoying because I couldn't carry that chip part back as efficiently as I wanted. And I want to flower all these guys too. Uh, your onions will automatically dispense uh, flowered Pikmin before like buds and leaves. So you'll you know by default get your strongest Pikmin out first. Which I kind of wish you could choose because sometimes I wouldn't just mind having can fodder, basically, but whatever. Uh, and I guess to restore our red numbers, we should carry this back. I think this thing's called the Puff Stool. And apparently he's a jerk, so that's fun. So let's carefully navigate through here. Um, I guess since, well, we don't really have much else to do with you guys. Just take these back, I guess. Is that going to go to the reds if I put another blue on there? Yes, it will. Okay. And the rest of you blues just help carry this back. What was this again? Did I even read the description? The Omega Stabilizer. There we go. So yeah, that's another non-mandatory part. Uh, the Wally Wog can go there. Alright. This should be fine. Oh, yellows. Please don't start help. Oh god! 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 Oh no! 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 This is really bad. That's really bad. Okay. Well, fuck. Fuck me. All right. Shit. Um. Let's deal with this. We need to go get more yellows now because I'm an idiot, but. Let's carry this out of the way. Did the ship part make it through? The ship part did not. Okay. I'm just going to get all these out of the way of the fire so we can carry them back to the appropriate person. Actually, no, you guys... You guys are fine. Carry those back. Just get these through the fire. Well, I'll need, I'll need you guys to go on this so we can carry enough. Jesus Christ. Um, we could actually use that. That is a candy pop bud. Uh, it will convert one type, uh, one color Pikmin into another. Um, we could use that to turn reds or blues into yellows, but I'd rather just go grab a few more yellows. Uh, we have enough time in the day where I don't really have to worry about that too much. Well, I don't want so many on there, so I can actually carry the ship part back. Because I don't know how many blues I have left. I think I have enough to carry the part, but Jesus Christ. I should have remembered that there's fire over here. And that they would go this way. I'm an idiot. Alright, how many yellows do I have on me? Eight. That's, uh... Do we really need to go back to grab more? I don't think we do. I think we should be okay with eight. I'm just going to make sure there aren't any... There's some over there. Some reds. I don't, are they doing anything, or am I just looking at the map weirdly? Are those guys carrying? I guess those guys must be carrying something. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. So, with our eight yellows, let's carefully actually get to disperse them. This is the BD Long Legs, our first proper boss, I guess. So, we need yellows to throw them onto the little orb in the center. He'll shake them off eventually. You do not want a large squadron because he is stomping around and if you have a large squadron he will inevitably just stomp and kill so many of them. You want a small team to go in and deal with him slowly even if you know you need to. Which he, we're, we're kind of going pretty fast so this is good. But you definitely don't want a large squadron because so many of them are going to die anyway because he's stomping around. He's unpredictable. Um, if you have a large squadron as well, if you have a large squadron as well, they will also start targeting his feet, which does absolutely nothing. So he'll just stomp them at that point and they're going to die. So I would recommend only bringing, you know, 10, maybe at most 15 Pikmin into this fight and yellows specifically because uh, you want yellows to, oh, uh, we lost a few. You want yellows so that you can actually efficiently throw them onto the, <laughs> onto the uh, orb in the center. You can, I think, use reds or blues, but it's a lot more annoying. So, I would just suggest yellows. Uh, we've lost one in this fight so far. It's pretty good. Considering we lost, you know, two before, because I'm a fucking moron. And 
go ahead and throw him back. Uh, this fight can take a while because, you know, it's... Because I kept lo keep losing Pikmin. But... Whatever. They're only yellows. It's okay. And he's dead. Not a hard boss fight, just something you have to be aware of. Um, that you don't want to take a bunch of Pikmin in. So I'm going to very carefully allow the yellows to take these back. I wanted to bring reds in so that we can get that ship part back to the fire. But uh, I will carefully allow these guys to carry the these yellow pellets back. You can save a Pikmin that's on fire by whistling at it, as you've seen numerous times now. So go on, carry that through, and we should be all right. Yes, okay. Whew, all right, let's go grab our reds so we can grab that ship part, and we will be done with the forest naval. We've lost fucking like 20 Pikmin today, mostly because of a glitch, but whatever, it's all right. Uh, we'll check our total numbers in a moment. Since I've grabbed all these guys. And um, we should have enough yellow still. We can check our numbers here, actually, right? Mm, yeah, we can. I think this doesn't include the pick we have in the field with the onion there, so we should have over 200 reds, I think. Um, we have about 70 or so blues, so we definitely need more of those. And we have 100 yellows, it's more than enough. I'm not gonna focus on yellows then. When they get back, they can just go right in the onion. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna do some stuff around here for now. I should focus on blues, because I do need to get more of them. Uh, especially for the area we're gonna be going to relatively soon. I do need a bunch of blues. I like to have, I, I sometimes like to have a full squadron of blues, in fact, for, uh, for the next big area. Although we won't be going there for a little bit, because I still want to do some stuff in the impact site and the Forest of Hope before we do anything at the Distant Spring that we unlocked. I'm still gonna be taking that yellow back with, uh, with blues, because I don't care about yellows. <laughs> yeah, you really only need like 50 yellows for the entire game, honestly. Uh, anything more is kind of excessive, which is really weird because yellows are actually super helpful in future games. It's just this one, like they didn't really know what to do with them, it seems. Because the only thing they have is again, bomb rocks and being thrown higher, which is ultimately kind of inconsequential. But they are more helpful in later games. I'm glad they figured something out to make them more helpful. Because I, I do like all the Pikmin being equally-ish helpful. Red Pikmin actually become the least useful in later games, honestly. But... That's that's a topic for another time. I mainly talk talking Pikmin 3 experience, because I haven't played 2, but I've seen 2, so I kind of somewhat know how the game is. Uh, so we have all the yellows, we can just put them in. We don't need the yellows anymore. Uh, I'm actually going to grab more blues so that we can easily carry things back. Where are all my Pikmin? Oh, they're going into the onion, right? Alright, let's grab more, yeah, or more blues. And we need to go grab that ship part immediately because we are actually running out of time. I kind of wasted a lot of time here. Uh, first, let's grab this nectar for our unflowered blues. That's fine, I'm not going to worry about it much. Because we do, we do really need to get at grabbing that ship part now, before we run out of time to do so. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm also not going to worry about taking these pellet poises back with blue, because it's just not worth the time it would take to separate things and make that work. So you guys just go, and you guys will definitely get back in time. We have enough time. A day in Pikmin. I haven't even mentioned this yet, which is amazing. I don't know how I haven't mentioned this quite yet. A day in Pikmin is about 15 minutes long, I believe. So, it's actually quite the perfect format for YouTube, honestly. Uh, anything else I can even do? I mean, are there any, like, enemies or anything I can deal with? There might be sure grubs over here. There's a pellet poison over there. I might as well grab it. Take that back. Please help him. Okay, he didn't. Why? Where are you going? What the hell are you doing? That was really unnecessary, but okay. Um, 
do I want you to go? Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. That ship part is definitely going to get back? Question mark? I'm actually not positive it will, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Um, there's not much else I can do, but hey, there's not much time left, so that's all right. Just kind of guide these guys back to the base and I'll drop them off. Okay, that part's going to be fine, thank God. Uh, so, a bit of a messy day, but it's all right. Not a messy day, mainly because like, I did bad, except for that one, you know, idiotic moment where I forgot there was fire, but I lost 23 Pikmin to a puff stool for no good reason, so that's just fucking annoying, frankly. Uh, yeah, you guys should be fine. I'm just, Something I like to do sometimes is I like to just put all my Pikmin back to make sure they're all safe, even though, you know, I can check my map. There's no Pikmin on the field besides those two carrying something back. But it's just a habit of mine. I just like to put things back. Put Pikmin back. So I know for a fact to save 219 reds. How many blues do we have, for the record, now that we've uh, done a little bit of work for them? Not much. Uh, 82. We got 82 overall. That's all right. Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> uh, I do want to have 100 Pikmin out, so I can just take this back. And not have to worry about sprouting any Pikmin, because we're never going to come back to the Force Naval. Okay. Wait, what? I'm missing two? I don't know. <laughs> we might have left two behind because I'm an idiot and did stuff at the end, so... That's possible. This might be the first time I'm leaving behind because I'm just... I'm weird. I didn't want to... I mean, I didn't... I, okay, here's the thing. If I had left those two Pikmin in the field, I would never have gotten them because they would just be left here and I'm never going back to the Forest Naval, so... Hopefully they're okay? I'm not positive that they are. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. That's good. I don't want to kill any Pikmin. So, only 15 parts. We've already gotten half the parts. In what? Five days? That's amazing. Thirty-three Pikmin lost in battle. You can see where we fought the puff stool. Uh, just gonna be mad about that. All right. Well, that was a thing. Next time, um, we actually will go to the impact site. We have one part left to get there. We needed blues to get it. We also need yellows, actually. So uh, we'll need the whole team. Go ahead and save. And yeah, Forest Naval is the first area we've completed. Fantastic. So, next time, we finish off the impact site. See you guys then.